Why don't you speak English? He speaks English? Very well. He said no. <laughs> no, 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 like, no, like you tra <laughs> did you hear he told him you translate in English? That's what he actually told him. He's like you <laughs> But I don't think you This is a beautiful it's a family um uh, from Senegal and you know the language all means is what it is, it's French, so our tour guide is gonna translate for us. <laughs> Then on fait two. Après, um, oh, okay. we got we gotta do the whole tour, the whole everything. Yes, that's what he offered. And uh, your attention, please. You take pictures. I mean, we have free time for pictures. Okay. Okay, because they close at five, he says, because of Ramadan. Hmm? It's two thirty. It's two thirty. You have time. Yeah. Yes. So we have time to do whatever you want. Now. Ah, this is... Okay. Bonjour à tous. Bonjour. Okay. Bienvenue au musée. My name is Lamine. Mm -hmm. Je vais parler en français. Il va faire la traduction en anglais. His name is Lamine. Lamine. Okay. Lamine. Okay. Avant, avant de commencer la visite, je vais d'abord faire la présentation. Ensuite, commencer sur la visite. La okay. présentation du musée. He's going to introduce the museum to you first, that you understand it, and then you will... L'idée de créer le musée de civilisation noire remonte à 1956. Okay, C'est à Paris Sorbonne, lors d'un congrès panafricain. L'idée est confirmée à Dakar en 1966. But they, and they confirmed it in 1966, 10 years mm -hmm. later. After the uh, World uh, uh, Negro Arts Festival. Malgré ces différentes tentatives, ce n'est qu'en 2014 que le projet a réellement été They just tried several times to put it up, but never got the, uh, on it. But that's in 2014. It's in 2014 that they start building this museum. This 2014, okay. 2014. The inauguration on the 6th December 2014. They inaugurated it uh, in, uh, uh, on December the 6th in 2018. And it got opened to people in two, uh, on January the 2nd, 2019. Et le thème de l'exposition est civilisation africaine, création continue de l'humanité. Ok, et le thème topic est African civilisation, la um, création et la continuité de it in, um, in humanity. Et si vous avez la première exposition qui est Afrique, berceau de l'humanité. Et right here we have la um, the first exhibition is on Africa, cradle of humanity. Okay. Maintenant, quand vous entrez ici, ce que vous voyez en premier lieu, c'est cette baba à métal. Okay, the first thing you see is Baba tree, is Baba tree metallic Baba tree, yeah. metal Baba tree. It's conceived by an artist, Haitian. It made, it's made by a Haitian, Haitian artist. I say. Hey, that's what's up. Right. You know, the Edouard Duval Carry. <laughs> Edouard Duval Carry was yeah. his name. Mm -hmm. Is his name. Yeah. Parce que si on va parler de l'histoire de l'évolution des hominidés, l'artiste il a divisé cette Baba en trois parties. Okay, he split the Baobab tree into three parts because we're talking about the division, the story of the evolution. Okay, okay. Uh, he, um, right here, we're talking about the the, evol the history of the evolution of man. So the Baobab tree is split into three parts. The oh, the, the, the roots. He represents the continent African with the most ancient fossil crown. Okay, well, uh, the, the roots. I represent the, the, the African continent with the fossils and, and uh, skulls that we found. Et le tronc du Baobab va vous montrer que partout vous allez en Afrique, vous allez retrouver ces fossiles et ces crânes. And he wherever you go, I mean, the trunk means that wherever you go, you find the fossils and the skulls mm -hmm. in Africa. Mais avec les branches, mm -hmm. la vie a débuté en Afrique, mm -hmm. mais ces gens vont pas rester ici. Ils vont sortir d'Afrique pour aller populer le reste du monde. Okay, so, I mean, with the branches, he meant that Life started here, humanity started here, but people just spread throughout the world. That's what the, the branch is made. The cradle of civilization. 
au milieu de la salle, symbolise l'arbre de la vie. And this babab tree in the middle of this room uh, symbolizes the, 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 uh, the uh, life tree. On a vu ici, vous avez. Okay. On est ici. Okay, this is the first picture. Vous avez la présentation de la carte de la figure. Okay, this is the African map. Et sur cette carte, on essaie de vous montrer les points qui qui sont ici en noir. C'est des sites où on a découvert les fossiles les plus anciens. Les points noirs. Oui. Okay, those you know you have several dots and the round dots uh, tell where we found the oldest fossils in Africa. Et ici vous avez encore l'Afrique du Sud. Et South Africa Central. L'Afrique centrale. Central Africa. Et l'Afrique du Nord avec l'Algérie et le et le Maroc. North Africa between Algeria and Morocco. Et ici vous êtes au bord de la Rift Valley. Rift. Rift Valley. Rift Valley. Il est en Rift Valley. Et ici au niveau de la Rift Valley, le sol est humide. Sorry. The land is rather humid in this area. It's marshy. Et quand le sol est humide, si c'est fossile pour se conserver pendant des millions et des millions d'années. Ok, parce que c'est humide et marché, les fossiles peuvent être kept on pour millions et des millions d'années. Et ici, dans l'Ouest africain, le sol est acide. Et dans l'Ouest africain, le sol est acide. Mm. Et quand le sol est acide, ces fossiles ont du mal à se conserver à l'usure du temps. Et quand le sol est acide, ils ne peuvent pas garder les fossiles. Et ici, quand on dit Afrique berceau, c'est surtout cette partie de l'Afrique. And so when we're talking about the uh, the cradle, that's this part of Africa, the eastern part of Africa. Mm -hmm. Le, la Turkana. So you have the lakes, Turkana, Agra, Natron, mm -hmm. Manyara. Tout sur la partie orientale du continent africain. Okay, all these lakes are in this part of Africa, mm -hmm. east part. Right. La, Lake Chad today, Mega Chad. On a venu ici. Next picture is. Tout à l'heure, on va faire la présentation des robots. Ok. Madagascar. Ok. Madagascar. Yes, that is. Ok. Maintenant. Tout à l'heure, en faisant la présentation du Bob, vous avez essayé de leur montrer que la vie a débuté en Afrique, mais c'est nous qui va rester ici, on sort de l'Afrique. Say that earlier, when he was introducing the Baobab tree, he let us imagine that life started in Africa, but people just went to spread themselves away throughout the throughout the 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 land, the planet. Ici, vous avez deux flèches. Vous avez des flèches en couleur rouge et des flèches en couleur bleue. Okay, we have we have uh, two arrows. One is red and one is blue. Les rouges symbolise les premières sorties d'Afrique. Okay, the uh, the red one is the first migration from Africa. Ouais, à part de deux millions d'années. Okay, two million two millions years away ago. Vous avez l'Europe. And the people went to Europe. Et ici à partir de 1,8 million d'années. And 1.8 million years. Ensuite vous avez ici l'Australie. Uh, you have Australia, 1.5 million, million. million years. Donc, ils étaient l'Australie, ils retournaient en Europe et partaient jusqu'en Espagne. And they went back from Australia to Europe, uh, to Europe, and went to Spain. Went to Spain, 1.2 million years ago. Ensuite, ici, vous avez uh, l'Indochine. And they went uh, to, uh, to Cambodia uh, in uh, 1 million years ago. Ensuite, vous avez également les dernières sorties avec le Mont Sapiens Arcaïque qui est sorti d'Afrique près de 200 000 et 300 000 ans. Et plus tard, il y a le Arcaïque Homo Sapiens, 200 000 ans et 300 000 ans. Il est sorti d'Afrique, là vous le voyez partout. Ok, il est sorti d'Afrique, mais vous pouvez le voir partout, ce qui est le Homo Sapiens. Il va même peupler le continent américain à partir du Japon. And he even went to um, the Af um, America, Americas uh, through Japan. By the Detroit of Bering. By the uh, Detroit of Bering. How many years? 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 How many They didn't tell how long. Because it was 40,000 years from <laughs> Japan. And then. From Japan, they went to the Americas. 
Yeah, because I was wondering where are the, the arrows for this point? The, uh, the Americas. Yeah. I mean, the Americas, you can, you can just say... Uh, was it the last civilization uh, uh, being born? Yes. I mean, I mean, I mean historically yes. for real? The, the New World. That's the Mayflower, these guys. So that's why they call it New World? New, yes, it was, May, I mean, European that came. That was, oh, but the Africans were there before. Somebody, yes, somebody yeah. had to I mean, be there, right? Um, I forgot the name of the king who went. He sent people okay. firstly because, and they, he didn't, they, they didn't come back, but he went by himself. He was the, the, the younger brother of a king, and he got to the Americas. That's why you see some um, statues in the, uh, in the, the Americas. The mm -hmm. uh, There was uh, the king was African who voyaged I read it maybe months ago. Il était de l'Empire Mandaï, l'Empire du Mali, avant Kankamoussa. C'est pas Kankamoussa Oui, c'est pas l'Empire du Mali. C'est soit l'Empire Sorai. Sorai, c'est pas Askia Mohamed. Je crois, oui, c'est son frère qui est allé. Askia Mohamed était le king, le empereur, et son plus jeune frère. Il aimait travailler et voyager, il est juste allé à l'Amérique. He's the first one to discover the Americas. Okay. The four. Before uh, the others. Yes. Come on, Columbus. Okay, this is a kind of genealogy of the evolution of man. Ici, vous avez d'abord les les formes dominées les plus anciennes. Ce sont les Ardipitecines. Mmh. Ardipitecines. Ardipitecines sont les plus anciens. The, the, uh, the oldest man, man shaped mmh. mankind, yes. Mmh. Ensuite, ils vont évoluer pour donner les deux Australopithèques. And from them you have the Australopithèque ones. Les Australopithèques vont évoluer pour donner le nom sapiens. And we're going to get to Homo habilis. Homo habilis. Ensuite, vous avez le nom sapiens archaïque. And the Homo sapiens. sapiens. And then the Homo sapiens. And to the cinq étapes de l'évolution. We have five levels of evolution. Oui, les arbres depuis des années, les Australopithèques, le Homo habilis et le Homo erectus, Homo sapiens archaïque et enfin le Homo sapiens sapiens. Homo sapiens archaïque. Homo sapiens. Et ici c'est le fossile le plus ancien découvert sur le continent. It is the oldest society found on the continent. Right. Also? Right. The fleece is the oldest. Yes. Ancient. They were found in Chad in 2001. They were found in the French. Do you know the Michel Brunner? Michel Brunner. I've seen some pictures of monkeys. You bought the fur. I have a fur. And it's set at 6 million. Six to seven. Yeah, I remember seeing this. I want to know what this explanation is going to be. Yeah, that's why we went together. They got to look like an ape. That's what it's That's the original vibe. Yeah. You can put it right there. Wow. So, that family, we're going to find out more about this. Let's get to the guide. Les Charlopithèques. Ici, quand on parle de Charlopithèques, vous avez d'abord le premier Charlopithèque qui est découvert sur le continent africain. Il est là. C'est le premier qu'ils ont découvert sur le continent africain. Australopithèques. Ensuite, vous avez ici Lucie qui est découvert en Éthiopie. Et c'est Lucie, c'est celle qui a été découvert en Éthiopie. Est-ce que qui C'est la vraie statue ou les vrais zones qui sont des copines Ici, vous avez Afarantis. Uh, okay, Lucy, uh, I find this is the uh, area where they found this. Uh, yeah, so this quick question, and I don't want to be rude or ignorant, but uh, why does she look like a monkey? Looking like a monkey? Uh -huh. I mean, just, you know, there are people uh, I mean, watching yes, these yeah, videos. I mean, why is she like a She's not a monkey. No, no, yeah, that's for real. You can have two senses. One evolves and the other stays. I mean, Fern, he's basically saying, yes, she looks like a monkey. No, the monkey was the most a frog. The last thing, I mean, 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 I
but the reality that's right according that's to me is you can get two kind of monkeys one is evolving evaluating to man and the one is stagnant in history being a monkey for the for thousand thousand years the other one is from monkeys to man the reality is this was a man and with the knowledge everything but he was huge to, to, to survive in this environment. And the hair was Because, protection. I mean, I'm going to tell something that is yeah. religious. When we are, when the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was asked if Adam went to Mecca, to, to, the, to, the, to, to the Kaaba to worship, he said yes, he went there uh, six times from India. And, uh, and when people told him, what kind of um, Montreux Monteza? What kind of animal he, he wrote? Uh, he said, what kind of animal could hold him? It was bigger, huge. I mean, to survive in the environment. But he was not. And he was wearing, I mean, protecting his parts. Since he got out of paradise. I mean, this is not your history. <laughs> this, is, this, is, <laughs> this is another history. Ensuite, okay. vous avez les empreintes de pas. La superposition de deux pas. Deux pas. Ah ah. Ok. We have two footprints. Can you do it? This one. Tanzania. From Tanzania. From where? Tanzania. Tanzania. Right here. Wow. This is. You see that? Yes. I see. Yeah. It's a deux pas. Okay, so you have the, the kid and it's an, an adult. Mm. A child and an adult. It's a superposition of the two parts. So the footprint? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Si c'est exposé ici, mm -hmm. c'est pour nous montrer qu'à 3,5 millions d'années, les choix de peut-être sont des adultes. Okay, this is to tell that 3 million and a half years ago, uh, start Australopithec was standing mm -hmm. this, is, this is one mm -hmm. and this is the child okay so we have uh, the child 3.5 million dollars they saw the position they are on the two feet they should play a carpa so based on the pattern he was upright no, yes upright. yes and here you have a we have a little bit of a little bit uh, what first, uh, uh, first uh, man breathing. Uh, this is very different presentation. Uh, actually, and here, they talk about uh, breed, uh, agriculture. Those are the tools they used. This is the paleolithic. And this is the paleolithic that means stone. Lumber, uh, uh, use, use tools. Uh, for hundreds mm -hmm. <coughs> and, and collecting and, uh, and collecting fruits and this is uh, for, for killing animals because by that time people paleolithic man was traveling a lot according to uh, needs of water or agriculture of food uh, or fruits. And these are the first um, uh, man like that, that, that moved from Africa to, 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 um, to spread in the, in the rest of the world. And 500, I mean, in 500,000 years, Ago, they start domesticating and using fire. Là, c'est un fossile allemand qui est devenu en Espagne à Burgos. Allemand. Question. Yes. Yes. Why do the skulls keep changing? Is it because of well, different people giving birth, or is it just? to supply somehow, to make things easier, like to eat better. I mean, um... Why? Why? The skulls change progressively. 
Est-ce que c'est pour manger ou du tout Parce que travailler ou pas. Ou pas L'homme, la forme du corps de l'homme change. Oui. Ouais. Le précepte, je pense qu'il a vu le constat là-bas. Là-bas, ils ont développé. Vous avez vu une crête qui se trouve ici. Et là, ils ont développé le plus son choix. Parce que par avant, ils n'ont pas encore de métier d'un fou. That's uh, he said that in the beginning over there, people had very strong jaws because they they didn't find uh, fire yet to cook. So whatever they ate was raw. So they needed good jaws, strong jaws and mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So that's why they had. Uh, so they discovered fire. So yes, yeah. and then uh -huh. so. So it's for adaptation. So yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay, I understand. <laughs> you. Right, that's evolution for you right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you notice right here, they have um, smaller jaws than. Is it jaws normal? Jaws. Jaws, okay. Jaws. Uh, um, smaller jaws because they found fi fire. Food, yeah, so food, cooking food. Oh, okay. So they not nearly strong. Yes. yes. German uh, German scientist excavated this scale in Spain. In Spain? Yes. And they said that that tells the, the migration of man. Mm -hmm. We get into the modern part of it. D'abord ici vous avez le tout qui est le cuir Maroc. Il est âgé de 315 000. Okay, we get into the modern human, and this this skull is 315,000 years old. Mais ici l'objet le plus important. Oh, in Morocco it was excavated. Yes, in Morocco, Casablanca, Marrakesh. The most important thing is that the people who are here are here. They are here. They are here. They are here. They are here. And uh, these tools, um, um, I mean, the, uh, the importance of these tools is they care that they were sharper than the former ones. They are here to open the animal, but also to open the poils. Okay, they used it to, to scan. And to and to um, and to and to to uh, cut the hair of uh, beast hair. Um, this skull from Ethiopia. And that uh, man from in France. And okay. this is the last um, level of the of man. Homo sapiens sapiens. C'est nous, l'homme moderne. Modern man. On se donne ici l'homo senegalensis. Uh-huh, c'est quoi ça? Homo senegalensis, c'est quoi? Oui, il est découvert ici au Sénégal. Ah bon? They found it in Sénégal. Homo senegalensis. C'est ton ancêtre celui-là. C'est le grand d'un griot. Ah ouais. This is the skull of a griot. I was telling you that they... But the, the griots were buried in, in, the, in the baobab tree, in the cellar of Nigel. This is a, uh, this is a skull of... In the Fatik. Uh, in Fatik. There's a city we're going to drive past on the way to Bangui. So, so we see evolution, but um, as far as the brain size, did it increase, decrease, anything that we know about um, human brains doing evolution? Oh, um, or, or did we evolve to more intelligent people this, with our brain power? Because I see the evolution of the skulls and the, the different shapes of jaws and everything. Yeah, I mean, um, uh, um, okay. It dit que mm. on a vu l'évolution mm. de l'homme dans le temps. Mm. Mais est-ce que le, 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 le crâne change en fonction de, de l'intelligence, bien de, 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 de la de, capacité, de, mm. de, de, de la taille du cerveau? Oui, c'est ça. Okay, it says mm. yes. That's the big. That's the the um. Que, là on est the, de 300. the shape of the the, 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 the the skull depends on the volume of the, the brain. Mm -hmm. The shape of the skull depends on the volume of the brain. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
with the evolution, the, 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 um, the brain, the, the, the skull gets, it gets bigger as of the brain, needing more poise because more room because more they use it. it. Yes. Mm. I have a question. So now when AI comes in and we're not using our brain, we'll like shrink. Uh, so let's explain uh, artificial intelligence. Um, that's what she's talking about. When she's now, talking that about we have, now that we have in the emergence of artificial intelligence and we're not using our brain as much, yeah. uh -huh. will that change ours? Um, it's possible. I mean, the, the, the <laughs> this guy's going to get strange. I mean, I'm afraid. That, I mean, we know. I mean, man is taking to a step that he won't use himself. And one day, I'm afraid that, the, that artificial intelligence will govern us yeah. and will be their slaves. Mm. That's, but that's, Even the scientists are scared. You know, he's mm -hmm. like, they're saying, uh, I was reading a documentary, it was like, go build your ark. And he was scared. <laughs> he's like, it's song. going so fast. We're thinking yeah. it's in the future, but it's here. That's what he's saying. They're turning they, the they can't turn on back that. Yeah. Can't, can't slow down. Some people are making money out of it, yeah. and everything is on money. Right. Yes. This is a Neolithic. This is a Neolithic. Neolithic secretary, that's right. This is a Neolithic secretary. Wow, man, my partner. Huh? Neolithic secretary. Yeah, the previous one, the other period. The Paleolithic and the Neolithic. Okay, and prehistory. We have two parts. The Paleolithic, that one, and the Neolithic, this one. La différence est qu'au Paleolithic, l'homme s'est déplacé tout le temps. During Paleolithic time, man was moving. Et au Neolithic, l'homme reste sur place. In in yes, in in Paleolithic, in Neolithic, man just start settling and developing a community. Ils vont ils vont ils vont changer de mettre en place des outils. And they start making tools to to store water instead of running after water. So they store water. Okay, and having okay, and they needed to to um to grind the uh the, 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 their seeds. So they oh, start okay. breeding um, cereals, and they they needed to grind them to get the flour. And they are tools like hooks and helping for hunting and fishing. Okay, and these two tools are used to to um, to weave. With clothing? Yes. They start carrying silver, weaving. Et si vous avez maintenant, on va terminer par l'art représenté africain. Ok, les murs, art murs en Afrique. Et ici, ils ont tenté tout simplement de représenter nos quotidiens. Ok, quand ils nous, ici, ok, ici, ils représentent le day to day life. In Algeria, the way they were, they were hunting. In Namibia, there's an antelope. An elephant in Morocco. An elephant in Morocco. A giraffe in Niger. In Niger. In Niger. They charge. Okay, charge. And horses in charge. Of course. In some of your work, there are bulls. Sorry. There are bulls. But now, if you come from Algeria, from Mauritania, the Niger is actually in the Sahara. Okay, okay. Algeria, Niger, and Algeria, Niger, eh? Mauritanie. They are in the desert. Maintenant, quand vous voyez l'éléphant, la girafe, 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 la girafe,
a giraffe, elephant, and oh. an antelope. That means that was, that was not a desert. It wasn't desert before. Yeah. Okay, and uh, uh, seven thousand years ago, um, okay, okay, we are uh, dry out, and there is no longer water. People are now mm. moving so to, to the water, yes, to the water, to, towards the Nile River. Now, where do the dinosaurs fit into this? Before? Long before. Long, the dinosaurs are way before. Before, before, man, man. before man. Before man. So wow. dinosaurs were gone before man got here? Yes. You know, um, how can I say? Wow. I mean, spiritually, yes. Spiritually, I'm telling you. Spiritually, when God made the planet, I mean, the atmosphere was not, didn't fit man. So he put those animals and certain plants to breathe and take. I mean, they needed the uh, instead of oxygen, but they needed the carbon dioxide. Carbon, yes, and so they uh, cleaned the the, yeah. the planet before man came. Oh. And then oh. man appeared. Yes, and man came just, to, and man was the last creature. My, I mean, the, spiritual, and you know, um, so <clears throat> plants. Were, uh, uh, ate certain bugs and breathed certain uh, gases, and the, the, so did the the dinosaurs. And when the, the it was cleared up, they needed those carbon, and they died. And then the ice age came, yes. and then man came. And came. Oh, really yeah, it's interesting. So they were there to clean up the air. Yes. Clean up the, pla the planet, so it's yes. livable. Of course, we're destroying it right now. So and there you see, go. yes, and they just uh, they ought to destroy themselves because there was no longer what they needed to survive, right. the, uh, the, to breathe. They needed carbon dioxide. Yeah. Yes, they, and they died. Is that why the T Rex has tiny arms because it focuses more on biting than grabbing things? The T Rex, dinosaur. dinosaur. That's a oh, species oh, yeah. of dinosaur. Um, with big body, small hands. Yes. Oh, and right. two feet. <laughs> Does he focus more on body? Yeah, so okay. you what don't. Is, is this I guess you wouldn't really need a hand. Mm -hmm. That's a thing. There are some dinosaurs who have sharp claws, but tiny hands. Oh, excuse me. Okay. What is this? It's a man like. Man like. Uh, yeah, they don't have anything. Oh, I don't think they have anything in here about dinosaurs. No, a cover. 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 Wow. You didn't know that? Yeah, yeah, different yeah. opinions, but you know, sometimes you don't know what's real or not. Um, you don't know. But, but I don't like, know. what happened to him? Yeah, he yeah. took yeah. Something, you know. something that powerful. Wow. You know? I mean, you didn't see the Jurassic yeah. Park movies. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, they kind of destroyed yeah. each other, too, though. Yeah, they, they just made those movies. Yeah, like, too, yeah. yeah, they said, a lot of people say they're not real. Mm. They just never existed. That is an interesting story. So family, we finished the first part of our African civilization or black civilization museum. Awesome.